Let's finish off the role management that we've been working on and we want to add the ability to delete roles. So we can come to our admin controller here. Just going to scroll down to the bottom and I want to add a HTTP get. I'm going to call this public async task action result and delete role. Uh, sorry, not the teal, delete. And in here, we want to pass a string ID. And first of all, we just want to get the role. Find by ID async, pass in the ID. And then just return this to the view like that. And we can go ahead and create our view for this one. Call it delete role. And first of all, we want to add the model, which will be an I identity role. And we also need to add the using statement for identity. Here we go. And in here, I just want to add a confirmation to our delete. So we can just go ahead and say h3. We're about to delete the role. And we can say model dot name. And we can also say this action can't be undone. So we'll need a form with a method of post and an ASP action, which will be delete role. And we want to use the ASP route ID as the model dot ID. We can add a class and give it some margin at the top. And all we want in here is a button and a cancel. Uh, button as well. So a confirm, delete and a cancel button. So the first one will be a button with type submit, which will be the delete button. We'll put this one as ETN danger, Let's make it red. And I want to pass in the trash can symbol from font awesome. Just type delete. I'm going to make a div with a bit of margin down to the next one. And in here, I'm going to create an, a tag, ASP action, which will be list roles. So this one will just take us back to the list of roles. And we can make a class, which will be ETN and warning which we've been using to go back and I'm just going to add a symbol and write cancel. We just need to go to the list roles, list all roles and here in our delete button we need to add ASP action which will be delete role ASP route ID be the at role dot ID. And this looks good. Button's already stylized, so we can just save this one. And we can go ahead and look at how it looks right now. So to see the roles list, I need to log in.
There we go. And I'll just add a new role and see how it looks. You're about to delete the role, a new role. This action can't be undone. And this will be our delete button then. We just need to implement the delete post function. And with the cancel button, we can go back. Oh, and I wrote it wrong. It should be list all roles. Let me just go ahead and stop this one. List all roles. That's what I've been calling it. Let me just show you how it works again. So we know that it works for real. Roles. And like this. And we can go back to the list. So now let's just come to our controller again. We want to add a HTTP post. And public async task action result and we can call this one confirm delete and I think I actually named this one yeah exactly delete rule I just want to re rename this one to confirm delete and there we go so in here first of all I want to get the role Wait, role manager dot find by id async and I forgot that's in the string id and that one we will pass in here id and then we want to do our good old null check like that and the id of course else we want to get the result of await role manager dot delete async and the role that we just fetched. And if this was successful, if the result succeeded, then we want to return a redirect to action and go to list all roles. So that we get back to our role list. And if there was for some reason was any errors, we want to make sure that we get these out like this. Errors. We want to add them to the model state. Uh, add model error and the error dot description. And then we want to return the view with the role. And for this one to work, we want to come back here and just add a div with ASP validation summary for all. A class of text danger. And we save that one. And now if we run again, go to the roles here, go to my new role, delete. You're about to delete the new role. Yes, and delete. And then it's gone. So now we are able to add new roles. And we're able to delete them if we make too many or just don't want them anymore. So now we have complete CRUD functionality within our roles manager. And I hope this helped you out somehow and see you next time.